This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. They take them away and we never see them again. Today we imagined a world of peace. It's not good to be alone. We don't get it. All right, let's end this now. Attack them! Kill them all! Man is hurt! Man is hurt! You should have talked to me. We could have worked it out together. So everything is going according to plan. The costumes are almost ready, the dances are almost done, and the food is ready to be cooked in a few days' time. Oh God, but there's still so much to do and, and so little time to do it. Hey, and hey, slow down. The festival isn't for a few more days. Relax, okay? Okay. I still can't believe all of this is happening. It's exciting, no? I never dreamed that we would get so many people working towards something of this scale. Oh, you both have done so much. <laughs> Paolo. Your mother and father would be so proud of you. <laughs> it will be a miracle if we can pull it off. Uh, don't be so cynical, Dad. Besides, I've made a plan that Marisol will never find out about. She better not, huh? Your plan better be foolproof. I don't want this going crazy like Deltopia. <laughs> <laughs> well, trust me, Marisol will be out of town for a night and she'll bring most of her soldiers with her since the journey is long and, and she'll need the protection. I'll have it foolproof, I promise. Sleepy now. Okay. We're going to go home now, huh? Be back before 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Hi, you two. <laughs> Joy. I haven't seen you a while. How are you? I'm good. Can I talk to Robin for a bit, please? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I want to show you what they have planned for their performance. <laughs> what dance are you guys doing again? We will be dancing Mon Monok of the Cordillera Suite. It is in which a dance where the male cocks and the female hens <laughs> try to woo each other and dance with each other. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Joy, we'll talk about this later. <laughs>
I can't wait to see it at the festival. <laughs> Robin. I was talking to Joy during the performance, and she told me that Dante took you to see Marisol. Is this true? Look, nothing happened. She just... What did she say? That if I'm inciting any sort of rebellion against her, then I'd pay for it. With my life. Look, I didn't want to tell you because I knew you'd worry. Like hell I'm worried. This isn't worth putting your life at risk or anyone else's for that matter. Well, look, who else said anyone was going to get hurt, huh? Her deal is with me and with me only. She told me not to overstep her and I was willing to do it because I don't care. How can you be so naive? She obviously can't threaten you with your own life. What's stopping her from taking someone else's? Like your dad's or Joyce or Edith's? Gosh, think, Robin. She'll take someone so close to you and, and you'll never see them again. Well, what are we gonna do now? I can't call off the festival. Everyone will go into a panic and, and I can't worry them. Besides, everyone has been working way too hard. I wouldn't dare disappoint them. We just, we just have to be extremely careful. And we can't take any chances if that time comes. But how could you keep something like this from me? You should have talked to me. We could have worked it out together. Look, she didn't go looking for you. Don't you get it? I didn't mean to put anyone else in danger. God, Paul, I don't need you to fight my battles for me. You know what your problem is? You don't understand that you can't do everything on your own. This isn't just your festival. It's all of ours. It's not just your life you're putting at risk. It's everyone's. You can't seem to get that through your head, can you? This is a group effort. It's not a one woman show. Tired from the festival, planning and stuff. Mm, are you excited? Yeah. Um, where's Edith? She had to go buy some vegetables for the party tonight. Oh. Dad, can I can I talk to you? Yeah. Is it true that I'm stubborn and never let anyone in? Why? Who said that? <laughs> well, Paul and I got into an argument earlier. It was horrible. You're a strong-minded and independent person. That's what your mom and I raised you to be. You know, you always spent a lot of time on your own because we were so consumed with work and and the job, the office, and those things. And then when your brother and sister came, it was as if you were a better parent to them than both of us combined. By the way, I could have sworn that I saw your brother and sister when I was walking through town earlier. <laughs> Strange. Dad, sometimes I just wish that I could accept other people's offers for help. I mean, like for PCN back home or, or this festival here, I'm just afraid everyone's gonna let me down. And, and I forget that it's not about me. And I guess with Peter at home and, and Paulo here, I can't accept their offers to help. You have the spirit of your mom in you, you know? She always had to do everything herself. You know, when it came to work, she was willing to devote all of her time. You know, she built that fantastic business of her, of hers, you know, all on her own because she didn't want anybody's help. But she made the biggest mistake that she could have made, Robin. You know what that was? She forgot to make time 
to make time to raise the beautiful daughter that was waiting for her at home. And she missed it, Robin. She missed it all. She missed the opportunity to watch you learn and grow to become the passionate, empowered young woman that you are today. Although you are hard-headed sometimes. <laughs> learn from her mistakes, Robin. Paulo's right. You have to learn to let people in and help you. And when you do, you won't regret it. I promise. Thanks, Dad. Dad, do you still love Mom? Of course I do, Robin. It's just different now. I cannot promise you that everything is going to work out between us. But at this point, what's most important to me is her happiness. Maybe staying together is not the most important thing, but it's her happiness. I understand. <laughs> what is it? I just remembered the song that we danced to at our wedding. Dahil sa'yo, nais kong mabuhay, ang lahat sa buhay ko'y dahil sa'yo. What does that mean? Well, the gist of the song is, because of you, there is a joy in living. And I know that in my heart, you are the only one. <laughs>
lahat sa buhay ko dahil sa iyo. Ilang ulit mo na itinatanong sa akin kung hanggang saan, hanggang saan, hanggang kailan, hanggang kailan magtatagal ang aking pagmamahal, hanggang may himig pa kung naririnig. May musika ko tinatagla kita ini ibi giliwag mo sa nang isipin ikaw ay aking lilisani ni ko magagawang lumayo sa yung pili at na iskum malaman kung ganu kita. Ang diwa ko tanging sa yun lang mamali kailan ma hanggang pagibig ko hanggang walang hanggan tanging ikaw lamang hanggang may himig pa ko narinig. Hey babe, are you ready now for our date? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm too busy. I have to do this. I have too much papers to write. Oh, and again? Then all the projects. Yes. What happened to our date tonight? It's I our know, but like, I have I have too much work to do. I can't do it. Sorry, another time, please. You're always doing work, babe. Come on, just one night. Just go out. We with can't. Me. I have to do this or else I'm gonna lose my job. Okay. But you're the one. You said to me that tonight you're finally going to get a break off of work. Well, I got caught up. So you're always like this. You're just always working. That's all you care about. You don't even care about your family anymore. I do, but we need money. I have to do my work. I have all these projects, everything. No money. We have enough money. No, we don't. Just we one have night. children, okay? We can. Jesus, Mario, said talaga naman itong babae. Just one night that I'm asking you. Forget it. Robin? Hey. Uh, I'm sorry about telling Paula what Marisol said. Oh no, don't be. I I would have probably done the same thing. It was stupid of me not to tell him. I wasn't thinking. But thank you. Is he giving you the salad treatment again? Yes. <laughs> but I deserve it. I'm sure he'll come around eventually. He's not the type to hold a grudge. I hope so. Well, I convinced my mother to come. She's really glad that you and Paolo put this thing on. It reminds her of a happier time when my father was alive. Okay. How oh, Robin, this looks so amazing. No, no, Robin, oh, you look amazing. It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. I'm not gonna get you. Hey, you guys, the show is about to start. You should head in and find your seats. Hey, Robin, I'll save the seat next to, you know, you can sit next to him. Paolo? Yeah? Look, I'm sorry. I should have told you about Marisol right from the start. 
It was stupid of me, I guess, to keep it from you. And you're right. I do need to be able to let other people in. And that's something that I'm working on. I just, I wanted you to know that. Look, Paulo, tonight's been so successful so far. And I'd really love it if we could just spend this together.
dance with the sticks and the scarves and the fans. That was crazy. Vinta, right? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, man. I wish I could do that. You do I wish you could do that. I saw that. <laughs> Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. Come on, I'm sure you could at least like something. Well, I mean, the costumes are pretty, uh, oh my God. snazzy. You know, all the colors are nice. Can I laugh at him? He's actually really big, soft, and gets to meet him. I'm not yeah. soft. Dude, do you even bend? <laughs> hey, you two lovers, you mind joining us? Paolo? <laughs> It's been great, but it's far from over. But we have Robin to thank for that. Oh, please. It's just as much your success as it, as it is mine. I couldn't have done it without you. <coughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't have done it without all of you. Hey, Rocco, where's RJ? Oh, yeah. He's back at Narcel's keeping the soldiers occupied. I'm going to let him know when this is all done. <laughs> See, I told you, tonight would be perfect. Hey. Isn't that RJ over there? What are you doing here? Uh, everybody go home! Oh, no. Marisol is here. Marisol. Get out of here while you can. Robin! Everyone, Robin! Come, come with me. Come with me. Go find Get your dad and hide here. somewhere, okay? No, Robin. You want I'm to sorry to crash your party, everyone. For some strange reason, I didn't get the invite. It's a good thing RJ here informed us, or we would have missed it all together. RJ? How could you? How could he not? Have you forgotten, Rocco, what side you're on? Go ahead. Defend their cause. Stand up against me. I promise you. You will not win. Don't you see, Rocco? You will never be one of them. At the end of the day, they'll want your head just as much as mine. I'll listen to her. Do you know why? Because you will always belong to me. Shall I give the orders? No. Please don't. Please, hear me out. I didn't mean to tell her. She tricked me. Rocco, you know how persuasive she could be. I didn't know what I was doing. Shut up, you fool. All right, whose idea was this, anyway? I know none of you would even dream of doing something like this. It had to be that new girl and her father. All right, look. I'm willing to overlook this blatant challenge to my authority. If, if you hand them over to me. And if we don't? Then you will all receive punishment that I see fit. But I will say, whether you hand her over willingly or not, I will have her. Tell me, Paula, is she really worth all of it? Take her. No! No! What? No, my what are you doing? You, you can't her. take her! Oh, Consider it done. <laughs> Okay. What, what happened to Joy? 
She'll be okay for now. Look, you need to get your dad and go to Tita Chris's house. They won't look for you there. What are we gonna do? Just meet me at our spot tomorrow morning. Just be careful, okay? We'll figure this out together. There's gotta be a way through this, okay? Where did you go? Everybody was looking for you. Dan, just please leave me alone. It's not safe for you to be out right now, especially after. It's getting dark. Come inside. Something might happen to you. Like something that happened to Paulo? Robin, please come inside. We'll talk about it. Dad, just please leave me be. Robin. Why can't you talk to me? I understand that you're sad. Everybody else is mourning. Why can't you join us? It's, it's not good to be alone. You don't get it. Then help me to understand. Let me help you. Can't you see, Dad? We've lost. He lost everything. And it's all my fault. How can it be so stupid? Robin, you cannot blame yourself for what happened. Come on, let's just go inside now. We'll talk about it. Come. No, just... Please. Hey, Nako, I don't know what to say to you anymore. You're so stubborn. Sige, bahala ka na lang dyan. You stay there for as long as you want. I'm sorry that she ran off like that, Edith. How is she? She has to come inside where it's safe, but she doesn't want to listen to anything I say. I'll talk to her. You go home and rest now, okay? I'll take care of you. 
Okay. Good luck. Robby. Not now. Edit. I. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? Dear, I just want to sit down for a while. Why did you leave? You couldn't possibly understand. I'm sure if you talk to me, I can help. It's just... Paula reminded me so much of a boy I knew back home. And this boy, Peter, see, we grew up together. And he knew me better than anyone else. And with me and my dad, between missing home and, and dealing with Marisol, Peter, I mean, Paula was the only one keeping me together, keeping me sane. I let him in, and now, now he's gone. <coughs> How do you deal with something like that? Robin, I held that boy in my arms the day his mom and dad died. Do you know what it's like to tell a child that he will never see his parents again? His dad will never read him his favorite bedtime stories. His mom will never sing him to sleep. It nearly broke my heart when I told him the news. But I raised that boy just like I raised his father. And I loved him. Anak, I loved him so much, just like he was my own son. He was just a little boy who couldn't understand why his parents gave up their lives and their son for the greater good. But then he grew up into this passionate young man, inspired by his parents' sacrifices, determined to carry on their work. I miss him. I know. I miss him too, Anna. You would have made a fantastic leader one day, no? He inspired people and made them listen. And he would have made a wonderful husband and father if he had just been given the chance. Just like his father. Yes, he would have done great things. There's no doubt in my mind. I did. I loved him. I loved him too, Anak. Paolo was loved by everyone. He has his, his own way of touching people's lives. Everyone is mourning and they're all scared for their own lives. Isn't that what Marisol wants? Yes, dear. <laughs> and getting rid of the person you care about most, she hopes for everyone to turn you in or get everyone angry enough to drive you out. So what should I do? Do I turn myself in? Do I leave? Is that what you want? No. Do what you feel is right. What is your heart telling you to do? Listen to it. Okay, are you, are you good now? Let's go inside. Your father must be so worried about you. I'll be there. Ah, no, sige na. Come with me. I'll eat up some leftovers. You're so skinny like a boto. Uh, edit. Yes, Anak? I'm sorry I didn't go to the funeral. I just couldn't stand there seeing him like that. I know. I'm sure he would have understood. Tomorrow when Marisol comes, she expects us to be outraged at Paulo's death. And we are, yeah. we are angry. We are angry at the fact that she took our dear friend. We are angry at the fact that she takes our loved ones and we never see them again. Yeah. yeah. And we're tired. We're tired of not reaping the benefits of what we work so hard for. Tired of living in fear of soldiers waiting at every corner, 
Just in case one of us slips up and is made into an example for the rest of us. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow, Marisol will get what she deserves. Yeah. We'll kill her. No, yeah, no. Do it. <laughs> But Paolo! Paolo died because Marisol thought that you would all turn against me and my dad by taking someone close to all of us. She thought you would either turn us in or make us want to turn ourselves in. But we have to let her know she can't beat us. Not yet. But she has beaten us. Like, what should we do? We can end this peacefully. No one needs to get hurt. That's a stupid idea. What if she kills us all, just like they did with Paolo? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you're right. And the truth is, there's nothing stopping her from beating us. But what I do know is that if we try to fight, we'll surely lose. We can't beat her army, and we don't have weapons to do so anyway. But we can show her we can't. We won't put up with her rule any longer. Yeah, we'll take we'll, we'll take our army on. We'll we'll fight or die trying. No. What if we just leave? I'm taking my family and we're sneaking out, out of here. We'd rather take our chances on the road than face Marisol. No, we don't need to do that. We don't need to fight. We can end this peacefully and no one needs to get hurt. Everyone, please listen to my daughter. Please. Everyone, stop! I know what Marisol is capable of better than anyone else here. I saw how easily she can order someone to take another's life away. And you know better than anyone else that we should fight, Emma. No, Ma, you're wrong. We need to try it Robin's way. You're right, she won't listen, but as soon as we attack, it'll be just like what happened to that all over again. Marisol can easily make us all disappear. We don't need to give her a reason to. But fight without violence? How do we do that? I have a few ideas, but I need everyone on board, and we don't have much time to prepare. Wow, I'm so proud of you, Anak, for, for organizing all of this. I'm sorry I don't have any yellow clothes. It's okay, Dad. But it's just a little bit sad. What is it? Why? Throughout our time here, you've shown me how strong and brave and courageous that you are. It's, it's as if you're no longer my little girl. Oh, Dad, I'll, I'll always be your little girl. Okay. <laughs> Dad, can I tell you something? What? I'm scared. What if my idea doesn't work? What if Marisol doesn't accept our attempts for peace? I know you're worried, Robin, but we've talked about this already. Marisol has had the power to wipe us all out with the snap of her finger, but she still has not. This is our last chance to drive her out of here without anyone getting hurt. So, okay. But, but this isn't stuff I'm learning about in my Asian American textbook, Dad. These are people's lives at stake. This is real. Don't tell me you're getting cold feet already, huh? Ay, nako, Robin, don't worry. This will work. It has to. I know. And it's what Paolo would have wanted. His parents tried standing up to Marisol before, but their way didn't work. This is something we should have tried a long time ago. Something we never had the courage to do. Thank you, Edith. Everyone, brace yourself. Marisol's coming. Let me through. Get out of my way. What is all of this? What do you think you're doing? They protesting, man. <laughs> Out of here. I can see that, you idiot. What's going on here? How dare you kill Bala? I eliminated the problem. Marisol ordered it to be done, and my allegiance lies with her. Where does your allegiance lie? All right. How dare you all defy me after all I've done for you? Done for us? What have you done for us? I barely have enough money to buy food for my family. If people weren't so generous, we'd be starving. Yeah, where, yeah. Does, our, where does our money go anyway? Your shoes? 
Yeah, do you want to just maintain your army? Show off your wealth? Where does it go? All right, let's end this now. Attack them! Kill them all! Stop! You've seen firsthand what this woman has done. You see what she forces you to do. Now Powell's blood, that's on all of our hands. These are your people too. Stand with us. No, we're done with you. No, we're done with you. And I hate your shoes. I'll make you all pay for this. Yeah? Come on. Where are your goons at now? because we work together. And we will continue to work together as a family. Now this calls for a special celebration tonight. Time to take out the Halo Halo. <laughs> Today, we will honor all those who were lost in the effort to bring back what was ours. We will remember you and what you could have been. Today, we imagine a world of peace. We have so much work to do, but one day I hope that we can live as one.
Marisol was able to oppress us because she took away who we are. She told us how to live, but that was no life at all. It was a life of poverty and of fear. And as Robin and Romeo have shown us since their arrival, we must stand up against anyone who takes away what makes us who we are in order to control us. They have helped us to thrive again, to reclaim our forgotten ways and introduce culture once again into our lives to take back what is rightfully ours, our freedom, and give power back to where it rightfully belongs, the people. <laughs> we still have a long way to go. We must rebuild our community and fully re uh, recover from our loss. But for tonight, we must celebrate how far we have come. We'll break bread and dance and enjoy each other's company. Break bread! Kick off the celebrations tonight. Here's Tinikling, our national dance.
can't tell you enough how proud of you I am. I was talking to Edith, and we think that Paolo would have been proud too. I just wish you were here to see all of this, you know? I know, but look at what you've accomplished. Did you see how happy everybody was? And it's all thanks to you. I just wish you were here to see it. That's all. Well, now that everybody is happy, how about we get back to finding out how to get back home? <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> yes, I agree. I think it's about time you went home. But how? I don't understand. I, I don't have the slightest idea how we're going to get. <laughs> We'll talk about it later, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for storming off like that also. But we'll talk about it later. Why are you staring at me like that? It's like you want to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I just... I really missed you, Paulo. Paulo? Who is Paulo? <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. What was that for? I just wanted to show you how much I appreciate you and what you are to me. And what's that? You're my best friend. <laughs> Much more than that. 
much, much more. And I know it must have taken me a while to see it. Yeah, it took you a long time. <laughs> after everything that's happened. I mean, with the earthquake and all. We are grateful that we are all safe together here. Amen. 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 Oh, Robin, eat this. Why is there only bread? <laughs> Okay. No? Here's it's, some bread. It's been a long time since we all had dinner together. Oh. Yes. Hey, Robin, why don't you tell us of, of your little crazy stories of yours and your dreams? Well, it's kind of a long story, but let's just say I have some inspiration for PCN this year. If you need any help, Rob, just let me know. Definitely. Oh, I forgot. I have some left of the pandasal. No! no! In the light of the new morning sun, I grow strong knowing we rise as one. With our hopes and our dreams, despite all odds it seems, a new day for Kapatirang has begun. And so we stand in unity. We stand with dignity. Brother and sister, hand in hand, we stand for what we believe. My Pinoys and Pinais come unite, come grasp the promise of freedom and might. We lift our voices and shout and claim without a doubt that the dreams of Kapatirang shall take flight. So we stand in unity we stand with dignity brother and sister hand in hand we stand for what we believe may the pride within all of us roar for the love of the philippines throbs in our core our people build life anew. We are their dreams come true. Together with our hearts and minds, we open the door. We stand so that all may see the power of the Filipino people and me. Brother, sister, hand in hand. We stand for what we believe. Break, break, break it down. We stand in unity. We stand with dignity. Brother, sister, hand in hand. We stand for what we believe. <laughs>
like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh uh, uh uh. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight to fall in love with strangers. Uh uh, uh uh. Yeah, we're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time. It's miserable and magical. Deadlines, it's time. Uh oh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be alright if you keep me next to you. You don't know about me, but I'll bet you want to. Everything will be alright if we just keep dancing like we're 22. Too crowded, too many cool kids. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It seems like one of those nights we ditch the whole scene and end up dreaming instead of sleeping. Yeah, we're happy, free, confused, and lonely in the best way. It's miserable and magical. Oh, yeah. Tonight's the night when we forget about the heart. Put baby oil on. Yeah. How does that feel? Uh, <laughs> 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 
It's gonna be weird to be sitting in the alumni section next year. If I come, I'll come, I'll come for you. Uh, I had a great time with the three PCNs I was involved with, but it's time to move on and become a spectator. This Hi. is the San Ines crew of 2012 2013. Minus Anthony right now. And Anthony. Anthony. Anthony's right there! Anthony's right there. Gave, oh, oh wow, there he is! That is there one. he is! <laughs> Oh my god. That is that's good. Oh. 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 I'm really hyped up. You hyped up? Yeah. Can't wait to wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> This is a story about a boy and a girl sitting on a bench about to fall in love. Nicholas Sparks calls this a bench to remember. <laughs> Worth it, and I am so ready for tomorrow. And I know you'll all be amazing. So thank you.